Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So guys, we are back with another tactic, and as you can probably tell by that intro, it is a Unai Emery tactic. The man has been absolutely killing it since he has become Aston Villa manager and has even recently beaten the likes of Manchester City and Arsenal and the team are flying high. So GYR, the amazing man that is, has recreated his tactical style in Football Manager for all you Aston Villa fans or maybe even people who want to play like Aston Villa. Obviously, we've recreated this with Villa. We've tested it with Villa and on the screen right now, you can kind of see what we do have here. Obviously, we do have a top four finish in the Premier League. In this instance, Liverpool went on to win the league. They were just 11 points behind them, but they did win the Europa Conference League. Obviously, he is a specialist in these European competitions. Also got to the semi-finals of the FA Cup, where they ultimately lost to Chelsea and got to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup as well. So ultimately, a pretty darn good season. If we go into the squad tab and we get rid of that, and I sort by goals, you can see Ollie Watkins, top goal scorer for us, 35 goals for him, 24 goals for Zaniolo as well. Uh, what is that? 22 for Bertrand Traore, um, lots for Bailey, Musa Diaby, etc. But Ollie Watkins was the absolute star of the show. 35 goals and 10 assists for this man. Obviously, a very, very good player uh, in football and in this year's game. But the squad is looking pretty good. But this is what the tactic looks like, ladies and gentlemen. This is GYR's Super Unai Emery. It is a 4-4-2 with the wingers that tuck in quite, uh, quite nicely and then allow the wingbacks to get on and get into those attacking positions with the two guys up front. And it is a little bit of a mid-block. It is something a little bit different from GYR, but you can see the stats on the right-hand side. Uh, Diab chipping in with 13 goals obviously we said about the 35 from Watkins 14 for Leon Bailey as well um, we've got 11 down there for Douglas Luis as well which is absolutely ludicrous to see and um, we're going to go through and break down every single instruction that you guys need so that you can play like Unai Emery but this video wouldn't be possible without GYR his links will be down in the description please do go and check him out as I said I wouldn't be able to put these tactics videos out because I just don't have it up here to create this so we're going to go through starting off in goal we have have uh, obviously Emmy Martinez he is a goalkeeper on defensive duty no sweeper keepers here nothing additional on him either just the goalkeeper on defensive duty then on to the fullbacks they are both wing backs on support duty with the additional instruction of run wide with the ball these are where the width is going to come from in your team these guys are going to pick up the ball and then travel wide with it and hopefully stretch teams out as well so that is both the right wing back and the left wing back they have the exact same instruction they're moving into the center backs they are both central defenders on defensive duty here nothing additional on them not ball playing defenders we're going for central defenders here now moving into the midfield four on the right hand side we have an inverted winger on attack in the right midfield position they are not up here they are in the line, the flat line, flat four, inverted winger on attack with the additional instruction of sit narrower. So Diaby will sit a little bit narrower, kind of in a cam spot. It kind of works him into this sort of position here. So it's a little bit boxy. And then that allows Matty Cash to dominate that wide area. Moving across to Kamara, he is a box to box midfielder on support. He is the right central midfielder in this tactic. Box to box on support for him. Box to box on support also for the central midfielder alongside him, which is John McGinn. So the two central midfielders, box to boxes, work rate is what you're looking for here. Getting up and down the field, supporting those options uh, in all those areas. Then on the left-hand side, we have a wide midfielder on attack again with the additional instruction of sit narrower. Exactly the same sort of movements as on the right-hand side, but Diaby will just push on just that little bit more. Moving up front, then we have Ollie Watkins. He is a pressing forward on attack duty with the additional instruction of stay wider. Again, pulling players all over the place to make the best, most effective places and runs, allowing Diaby the space to get into. Then alongside him, we have an advanced forward on attack, which is, of course, Zaniolo here with nothing additional on him. Moving across to the tactical style, it is a custom Emery mid block. It doesn't really matter which one of these you select, guys. Obviously, G has created his custom one here. He, we would suggest either going for like a Gagan Press or a part of the bus or a clean slate or something like that. As long as you follow the rest of these instructions, you will get the exact same tactic that I am about to talk to you about. It is an attacking mentality. The Villa team do do pretty well. 
obviously beating Manchester, uh, Manchester City, they absolutely dominated them a couple of weeks ago in terms of shots as well. So they are a very attacking team. This is how they look in possession, though. A fairly wide attacking width. They are passing into space and playing out of defence in terms of their approach play. The passing directness is shorter and it is at a higher tempo. We're keeping those mixed crosses into that final third and our dribbling style, we are running at the defence as well. In transition, though, this is how we look. We are counter-pressing when possession has been lost. We are countering when possession has been won. And our distribution type is to take short kicks. And then out of possession, guys, this is how we are set up in a mid-block with that line of engagement. We're not pressing all the way up, but it does have a higher defensive line. Obviously, Emery likes his players to play quite high up the field. Obviously, that came with Spurs. Uh, a bit of carnage because Ange does the same. But in that mid-block, we are triggering that press much more often. And we are preventing that short goalkeeper distribution. And this is the Unai Emery, the Super Unai Emery tactic from GYR. If you let me know down in that comment section how you get on with this tactic and how you think Villa are going to get on today. If you like other tactics on FM24 and you want to see something else from GYR, check out this playlist. It's all the tactics that he's released on this year's game.